and welcome back to Minecraft. Last time we beat two withers, which is, for bedrock, a pretty impressive feat. We also gained one piece of nephrite. I intend to eventually go and find the ocean monument to fight the final boss mob. That would be the Elder Guardian. But, before that, I want to actually go ahead and I want to make the beacon fully powered. The way that the beacons work, as I have already established, is you need a lot of a certain block type. Because you cannot mix any ores. They all need to be the same, which makes it a lot harder. So, I'm going to be running around as much as I can, mining every ore in my sight. Here we go. The main reason that I want to just get as much as I can is so that I can make sure, no matter what, I could have the resources I need for at least an iron beacon. Here we go. As you can guess, I am going for iron, because, well, going for diamond, and emerald, and nephrite, those would be the hardest ones. The only one of somewhat equal ease would be to go for any gold. The issue with that idea, though, is gold would still have some form of difficulty. Hmm. Main goal is to locate just iron. But if I find diamonds, of course I'm going to get them. So, I'm going to try to do some big cuts just to get more and more iron available. Within these cuts, I'll try to give you some indication as to what I've done to find larger veins of iron. Because so far I've just been in these underwater caverns. But for all you know, I could somehow slip from here to, let's say, a majorly large underground cave. Here we go. Just carry on this way, I think. It is now actually pretty tough to locate anything, because as I'm after this iron, of course, that means I'm going to want other things. It is... okay, yeah, I'm just gonna cut it so I can locate just any form of ore now. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I guess I don't need a cut. Oh yeah, I definitely don't need a cut. By the looks of it, I'm back here! Again! Same exact underground... um area. Hmm. It does also seem to me that I'm 
within a tropical region for how there's tropical fish. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing. Hmm. Oh wait, never mind. Let's see. Does this work? Okay, that's how. There we go. And more mystery lava. By hitting this, it all changes. It's weird how block registration can work, but it does lead to fun things like that. Just nothing happens and then suddenly bang. Ah, this little bit seems familiar. Wouldn't you agree? We always seem to return to here. But this is a good place to be in anyway. So while I'm here, I'm going to dump almost all of this worthless stuff. And I'm going to hop on down. Bit of string there, so a spider died. Oh, diamond! There we go. Let's see. It was only one block, and it only gave me one. Ah. Would have loved if I got lucky there and got multiple, but... Oh well. Here we go. That's gold. I prefer to locate iron. I will, though, take some redstone. I have been running a bit low. There we go. Nothing here. Ow, that hurt a little bit. Not as much as what this Enderman now feels. The amount of blocks that a person needs is, as I have already demonstrated via just counting it, a 3x3 three three on top of a 5x5 five five on top of a 7x7 seven seven on top of a 9x9. Nine nine. 
well over 100 blocks. And since every block is made out of 9 of the ore, well over 900 of the ore. If you would like, though, a better number that it would be, in the way that maths would work, and, well, the easiest way to put it, 81, which is the lowest layer, the 9 by 9 add 49, which is the 7 by 7 add 25, add 9. That is 164. That, in terms of a stack in your inventory of 64 of a block, is over two and a half stacks. Which is pretty shocking, considering you've got to make two and a half stacks of an ore block. And I don't mean the raw ore, I mean the smelted down ore. To just get that much of an ore is quite a hassle. Because as you can see, I have to focus solely on iron to do this. And even though they made it so then iron and gold can actually be affected by fortune when caves and cliffs came out, which was nice, it still is an extremely tough challenge. Why? Well, remember how I said that every block is consistent of a nine of the ore? Well, take your 164 and multiply that by 9 for how much of the ore you need. And you can very easily see, when I say it's over a thousand, it's, um... It's closer to one and a half thousand. And that amount, divided by 64 for your stacks, you can already probably assume is going to be almost an inventory. 23 stacks, more or less, of pure ore. It is an extremely large amount of anything to get just for one little task. And yet, here I am, trying to do it again. And yes, I've done this before. I have gotten stacks upon stacks of ore, just to make a singular beacon at maximum potential. It was a hassle, it was a nightmare, but it was also worth it. There we go. Now starting on my third stack of iron. And I only have, I believe, one stack and a tiny bit at home. Essentially putting in a retrospective, one of my shulker boxes here is going to have to be filled with iron. It needs to contain around 22 stacks of the stuff. Once it does, I'll have enough to make the um, full tier beacon. And that's one. People that have gotten around maybe seven or eight of the max tier beacons, I can applaud. Because the time and effort it takes to acquire the resources for one beacon, if it's iron, which is one of the easiest ores to acquire, still takes hours. And for anyone that's made it out of diamond or netherite, it had to have taken either extreme long amounts of time 
or an extremely large amount of duplicating. Which, some tricks would be quicker, other tricks are slower. With the current build being a slower trick, from what I know, it still would take them hours for Neferite. Because with most tricks, you need a minimum of typically nine of whatever ore, as you'd be making it into a block. This results in plausibly could be hours just hunting Neferite. And, well, I know this. To acquire just enough for your full gear, without duplicating, it can take you days. So even if I somehow could figure out how to use a duplicating glitch and abuse it to an extreme level, even then, I would still need hours upon hours of time. Just to get one beacon. Of course, I'm not going the um, route of just duplicating. I'm finding all of this all myself. And with all of the time it's going to take, I don't even know if it will be done in this video. Because to acquire essentially an inventory of a singular ore, it takes you near enough a full few hours. Oh, diamond. Hey, that one ore actually gave me free. And that is the only upside as well, really. You can acquire other ores while doing this. Because it isn't a full inventory. It's a nearly full inventory. But since it's essentially 24 of the 27 inventory slots, which don't include your HUD, you would need to bring it for sure shulker boxes just to get the ability to contain the extra stuff. And as such, once I've mined this, I'm probably going to put everything else that's in my inventory into a shulker box, just to be able to carry iron. Let me get up here where it's a bit brighter. Mobs won't spawn as frequently. Oh, more iron, yes! With three and a quarter stacks down, I still have Approximately 19 I need to acquire. I also have everything that I would need to enter the monument. I have all my gear. I have a boat. I have everything, really. There we go. So, counting how much space I have to carry iron... I have 23 slots right now. I effectively have to fill the rest of my inventory 
And there's more diamond. There's a diamond. So, I'm going to do this. Once I reach probably six stacks of iron, which is n kind of over a f quarter of the amount, I'm going to make a shulker box just for iron. The reasoning is, well, pretty obvious. I don't want to overfill my inventory. Anyone that plays Minecraft understands one of the worst things to do is have too much stuff in your inventory to be able to not carry anything else that you would want. Or, well, need. As such, once I have the sixth stack, I am going to stick them all in and in my bonus inventories. Because I'm happy that shulker boxes are as big as an inventory. More iron. I don't care about the mobs. Okay. Let me have a bit of food. And let's go. More iron. Hmm. There is a zombie that does notice me, but he can't reach me. Looks like I'm starting to get back to um normal ground or normal underground. Where'd that arrow come from? Oh, there. Oh yeah, I don't have my arrows anymore. Um, hmm. Oh, never mind. Skeleton died because of my thorns. Care about the zombie on my back. Care about this iron. There we go. I believe that's all the iron that's in there. So I'll come out of there. I've got a few blocks which I can use to build up. More iron. Hmm. Once I have my iron, I don't think I'll ever need iron again. I mean, yes, that's saying quite a lot, considering how frequently people will need effectively any ore and every ore. Iron especially, because of anvils, because what you would need to make for yourselves, of course, armor, shields, flint steel... But, the thing about iron, once you have those things, you don't need it. Or, of course, once you have better versions of those things, you don't need it. So, truthfully, what's the point for iron for me, besides maybe getting a new shield when one breaks, or besides getting myself a new anvil when that finally falls apart. Hmm. More iron. 
quite a big vein. It's good. Bigger veins mean bigger amounts. Once I've gotten enough, I'm going to be very happy to set up my first beacon. Which would also probably be my only beacon, because this takes too long. Gold, I want iron. Found lava again. Meaning I'm now very much towards the bottom of the world. Again. Break that to drop all the gravel. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Since it's taking me so long to find more iron to add to my several stacks that I already have, I'm going to do one of the biggest cuts I think I'll ever have to do. <laughs> because it is just taking too long. And it's just too strenuous to find so much iron. Once I have it, I will be back. And... Oh, hello diamonds. And I will show you... The full creation of the beacon. And from then on, no more beacons. They take too long to build. And while, yes, I could have just the tier 1, which I already could definitely make, or a tier 2 maybe, having the max tier unlocks way more than you think. Also more diamonds. Definitely more diamonds. There. So, I'll see you all when I'm going back up the stairs of my mines with, hopefully, plenty of stacks of iron, which will take forever to smelt, but once it's smelted, I'm going to be very happy. To so see you all then, I am finally back. It took a long time. But, I've got nine stacks of coal for all of this iron. This is three full stacks of iron blocks. More than what I need. But I don't care. Because even if I didn't need all the extra iron, I now have it. And it is now going to be kept for good. There we go. There is several snacks that I'm going to start smelting in here. So I'm going to fill every one of these to the brim with coal. There we go. There we go. 
Yeah. There we go. Get everything out of my light blue box. Hmm. Let's see here. What can I put away? Flint. I can put away the boat. Nothing really from there. In here, I could put away some ender pearls. Uh, in here goes the diamonds, redstone. Um. There we go. For the blocks, I could put away all this cobble. There. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Where can I put those? Actually, no, it's best if I keep all of those. Still, though. And now I'm going to run down here and I'm going to keep my eye on this iron. Since I can tell that this iron's going to take a while, because as you can actually see right there, one ingot is doubled the rate in every blast furnace. And as I only have one blast furnace, this will take a while. So I'm going to cut, and I'm going to speed up to when we have smelted all 27 stacks of iron. I'll see you all then. I am finally back. After a long while, I've got all three stacks of blocks of iron and my beacon, along with some stained glass blocks to make the ray slightly different color. So, you might be questioning, where am I going to plan to make this then? considering how it needs to have a way to see the light. Well, considering how I have a balcony attached there and there, I have two other corners. I'm going to align it so then it would be here. I'm going to dig down a bit. I'll probably have beacon here meaning it's time to start digging out the area that I'm going to fill. Here we go. It's not that hard to clear out this. As you can tell, this is what the tier 3 would be. Come yeah, on. There we go. And the final tier has to be dug.
Here we go. Oh. Looks like a little bit of my job's already done by the ocean. Okay. With all of these blocks that I just dug now being thrown in here, let me get my box back. I can now put it away where it originally was. It's time to start filling this in. I'm going to have to mine a block there just to be able to see it and fly back on in with the swimming capabilities. And I am blocking it back up. Did not mean to put it there. There. Now, if you thought you could originally just have, like, the outer layer. No. The thing needs to be filled. Here we go. to our third and final stack, which we'll need. And put down the beacon. Now, before I go ahead and do anything with this, as you can see, I need to give myself the effects, but for that, I'm going to need to give it a little sacrifice. In order to do this sacrifice, I'm going to quickly check if I had anything within my ender chest that I could use. Nope. I will very quickly grab probably an emerald. I have quite a few of those, thanks to the mob farm definitely giving me a boast of emeralds, due to how it's on top of the um, woodland mansion. And there's my other blocks that I had, so let's get some emeralds. More blue blocks. Just put away this stuff, oh yeah, uh this random copper I mined up out of the way. There we go. And now all I have to do is, with this, take out all those blocks, put them in here. There we go. Let's give the beacon a emerald. And I'm going to intend, since this is by the house, as I'm not going to really be fighting around my home, I don't need strength. And as I'm around my home, I'm not going to need haste. Resistance, speed, or jump boost. My house is big, so I'm going to have speed. More specifically, speed 2. And there it is. Now, when I'm around this beacon, I have permanent speed 2. And, as I'm about to do... Bang. 
Why, there it is. I was about to say why didn't it work, but I guess it just needed a second. I now have got a perfectly functioning beacon, which, if I do this, the colours should fuse. There it is. It's not exactly dark blue, nor is it exactly light blue. This is blue. So, yeah. I'm going to call it there. We've made ourselves the fully functioning maxed out beacon, which should work all the way at this end of my home. Yep. Meaning I will forever have a permanent buff to my speed when I'm at home. Which is great, considering how big of a home I have. Let's just check. Does it work over here? Yep. My entire home is covered. How about over here? Yep. So, next time, we're going to try to get more paper, we're going to get more emeralds, and we're going to try and get ourselves an ocean monument map from a cartographer to find and get rid of the final boss kind of mob in Minecraft. This is Mystic, and see you for the final boss hunt. Goodbye.